When DJI launched this at the Mavic 3 Classic, it absolutely changed the game. Previously, in a built-up residential area like this, you could only fly drones such as the DJI Mavic Mini, the Mini 2, or the Mini 3 Pro, or basically anything under 249 grams. But now with this C1 certification, I can effectively fly this in a built-up area. However, there is a big difference between where you can fly it and where you would actually feel comfortable. There are many people out there that do it really suffer from drone anxiety and of course we see uh, on YouTube a lot at the moment with drone confrontation videos with people not being too impressed with drones flying over their property. So what I'm going to do on this video is a short hopefully video uh, comparing the sounds of the DJI Mavic 3 Classic, uh, the DJI Mini 2, and of course the DJI Mini 3 Pro as well. I was going to include a drone such as the DJI Air 2S, which is an absolutely fantastic piece of kit, but the problem with that drone, especially here in the UK, I cannot fly that in a built-up area, even though this is so much bigger and more powerful. And more importantly, I kind of figured that if you are in a country uh, where you can fly the DJI Air 2S anywhere, you're probably not going to be that worried about how it sounds. So let's crack on with the video and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all three drones up in the air uh, one by one. I'm going to hover them in front of the camera, hover them about 10 meters up, then go to 30 and 50. And what I'm also going to do as well is just use this decibel app here. It's absolutely unscientific but hopefully with the help of this measurement on here and of my microphone which is strapped to me we should get a decent idea of how these drones actually do sound. So let's crack on and put the first drone up in the air. Right, so as it currently stands, the decibels are around, yeah, about 45-ish. So let's take off with the DJI Mini 2 then. So that's at its standard height, as you can see. Let's just move that up slightly. And then what I'm going to do is just measure here. So around the 70 decibels. So let's go up to 10 meters. Let's take a measurement. So I would say that was around 60. Let's now go up to 20 meters. So about sort of 55 to 57 decibels. And let's go straight up to 50 meters. So that's around the 52 decibels. Right, so what I'm going to do now is just fly over in sport mode and just see what it picks up. And more importantly, what this picks up as well. Right, so that was a pretty thorough test. Now, as you can see, it's hovering around at the 47, 48, 49 meters. It's really getting blown about up there. But more importantly, if I listen, I mean, it's very noticeable that it is up there uh, and the props give quite a high pitched uh, turn. So let's just drop the drone back down and let's put the Mini 3 Pro up in the air and see exactly how that sounds. Right, so it's now the time for the DJI Mini 3 Pro. Let's take off. There we go. Let's just get a measurement. So around 70, 71, 72 decibels. Let's go up 10 meters. 61, 62 decibels, that's pretty good. Uh, let's go up to 20 meters. So around 50 to 53. Let's now go up to 50 meters. Let's check it here. So even though it's battling the wind, the DJI Mini 3 Pro, um, according to this, is a little above ambient. Now, like I've already mentioned, this is not scientific, but we do get a good idea. Let's just listen through my mic. I mean, yes, you can hear it battling the wind, but nowhere near as much as what we could the DJI 
Mini 2. Basically, this DJI Mini 3 Pro is really, really good. And basically, the larger props just give it that little bit better uh, pitch so it doesn't quite make as much noise. Um, so let's just do the flyby test. I mean, it did peak a little bit there, but you can barely hear it. I mean, that drone is currently, what, 73 metres uh, from the home point and 50 metres up. I can barely hear it. But now for the big one, the DJI Mavic 3 Classic. So let's just take a measurement. 75 decibels, okay. Let's put it 10 meters up. I mean, you can probably hear on this microphone, that is pretty loud. Um, let's take a reading. So we're talking 6566. Now what I find quite interesting is just listening to it and running the sound through my microphone. It does appear louder than what the decibel meter. Oh, uh, listen. Yeah, so it sounds louder to the ear than what this is actually picking up. Maybe that's due to the turn or the pitch or whatever. But let's just put it up to the 20 meters. So same story as you've just seen, you know, even though we're 20 meters up, it's only around the 55 decibels. It's quite interesting. Go up to 50 meters like we have on the other ones. There we go. So we're at that 50 meters. Let's take a measurement. So yeah, about the same sort of levels as the DJI Mini 3 Pro. But of course, again, because of the larger blades, the more power. I can certainly hear that more, of course, than I could hear the DJI Mini 3 Pro and probably more than I could hear the DJI Mini 2 as well. So let's just proceed with our little flyby and just see what it picks up there. You can really hear that. Well, that was interesting. I thought it updated the home point anyway. But more importantly, I have to stress, and obviously you can see this on screen right now, that picture quality from this drone is absolutely fantastic. I cannot deny that. So let's just get a bit more distance. Sounds like a swarm of angry bees, but not massively bad, in all honesty. Certainly going to know it's there. Certainly going to know it's there more than the DJI uh, Mini 3 Pro. It's a different tone to the DJI Mini 2. The Mini 2 is more whiny, if you wish. This is more hummy. Um, that's not a technical term, clearly. Um, but yeah, quite interesting. So let's just land at the drone and then come up to a little conclusion. So there we go. That was an interesting test, wasn't it? This DJI Mavic 3 Classic um, doesn't actually sound as bad as what I thought it would be. Certainly when it's coming into land, when sort of it's directly overhead, yes, it is quite loud. But when it is actually flying through the sky, um, it doesn't seem to be that overly bad, if I'm perfectly honest with you. And probably a much more pleasant turn than the DJI Mini 2. Would I personally feel comfortable flying this in a residential area? I cannot say. I tend to not fly my drones uh, generally where people are. Um, I don't want to annoy anybody and I don't want to bug the neighbours, more importantly. Um, and just I just feel it's safer flying your drones out in the open. But ultimately, the rule makers do say that you can fly a drone of this size in the same place. You could fly the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 2. Um, so this is entirely up to yourself what you want to do. And I hope that this video has been suitably entertaining. Sorry for the state of my garden. This was an impromptu video that I just thought of. Um, and obviously, it's quite difficult to execute three flights, three uh, altitudes, etc., and recording everything. Um, and of course, it's not scientific like I alluded to at the beginning of the video, but hopefully it will give you a good idea. For more tests on the DJI Mavic 3 Classic, please do subscribe to the channel and the, hit that bell notification to be notified when I do post any future videos. And of course, if you found this quite good fun, please do hit that thumbs up as well. Until next time, see you again soon.